but do not project what you're feeling onto somebody else. That's not cool. Hi y'all, so I tried to get my day started very early today. Uh, I mean, I woke up early and then I'm just like, you know what, maybe I'll meal prep me specifically because I don't have no food in the fridge. So I checked the fridge and I saw that I had some <clears throat> mutton. So I'm like, maybe I'll just curry that. So I just seasoned it up and put it in the freezer so it could like marinate. But then when I went in there, I saw that I had some chicken that was already seasoned. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll make that too. So I currently have the sink with hot water waiting for them to, to defrost. I also think I have some, um, what do you call that? I also think I have some, I have the pipe running to like fill the sink. Typically I don't like having all these lights on, but because I'm barely doing anything because I'm vlogging, I wanna turn it on, right? I did a lot of cleaning, all right? So it's nice and clean in here, but I also just remember that I have some seasoned cut up chicken breast. That yellow box of coffee is also running out and I need to get more. But I also have this container of Maxwell House and I'm just like, yeah, maybe I should go through it because it's still pretty new. The only thing with this one is it's pretty much ready to go. So this morning I used one of it it's a Korean coffee. I used one. I put a little bit of Maxwell House in there and then I put my creamer and it is heaven, okay? I just put it on my Insta stories and one of my friends sent back the disgusted face where like the emoji is throwing up and I'm just like, I'm not even gonna answer because I don't know how this is disgusting. If you don't like coffee, that's okay. But do not project what you're feeling onto somebody else. That's not cool. I don't know what this is. I don't think this is chicken breast. I have it in two bags. Mm -mm. This is probably the very same goat meat. I could have sworn I had to put up chicken breast in there. And then I have some bananas in here that I'm defrosting because I have not made banana bread in so long I just have not been in the mood to like get up and like bake and making the banana bread is a little bit of a process too so I'm just like oh I'm not in the mood so often but today I was supposed to go to work and I ended up telling my manager last night that I had diarrhea and I can't come and he's just like can you off day today okay thank you okay my guy great because on so my camera battery just died had to take it out and I'm gonna charge it but um I love how the kitchen counter is now looking. I moved the paper towel thing over to this side and my wine rack is pretty empty and it's not making me happy. So, I definitely need to go to the grocery store and stock up on some wines because I need to have happy juice all the time, okay? So I need to figure that out. I'm currently listening to Enjoy the Podcast and let me tell you, it's very educational. Women, let me put you on. Wherever you listen to your podcast, just go in there and type enjoy, okay? And you will see the enjoy podcast pop up by Jared and like two of his best friends or whatever, but it is everything. Like the episodes are so interesting and I found it from Shannon Boudram and or her name on YouTube is Shan Booty. She's a sex educator and so her, her, her videos are always so interesting too. So that's how I ended up finding this podcast. But um, yeah. And today I'm trying to like knock some meal prep out and just do all these other things. So that is exactly what I have going on right now. So I'm just defrosting the meat. I could not find the chicken breast that I had cut up. So maybe that was done. Highly unlikely, but maybe somebody cooked it not realizing. But I feel like I need to pop at the grocery store too because I only have one potato. And for my meal prep, I like to bake sweet potatoes. Some of these onions are growing. I currently have one four bottle of water left so maybe later on today I will walk out the block and go to the grocery store and like pick up a few items because I'm also off tomorrow but tomorrow I have an appointment which means that at 9 o'clock tomorrow I should be leaving here to go to my apartment because it's 12.15 it's gonna take me about 
45 minutes to an hour. Okay, maybe I wouldn't leave this early. It's gonna take me about 45 minutes to an hour to get there. But I need to get there 15 minutes before because of COVID. So, love that for me. I also have another place that I wanna go to. So, um, I need to make sure that I get the paperwork together for that today. But yeah, this is the little basket that I organize like my produce in. And I don't put them in the fridge. I never have, no, actually. So I have some fresh onions. Maybe I should wipe the shelf off. Where is this thing that I have? But I've really just been going through and like cleaning. Just really cleaning this place down. I have some Irish potatoes in that one. Put this here. So I have one for onions. I have one for Irish potatoes. And I have one for sweet potatoes. I don't know if the Irish potatoes I'm going to go through because I feel like all these Irish potatoes have started growing. Am I going to just throw all of these away? Maybe. However, I need to take them out first. I also just bought a new runner for this table because I had some other runner in a thing of like sheets and stuff. And when my husband moved out, he took that. Oh, I'm good and well, it was not his. But you know, we move and we're not complaining about the little things. I bought everything that was in there once. I'm fully able to buy them again. So, um, yeah, like I said, not complaining. So I'm wiping this out and I'm gonna put some paper in the bottom as well. I need to buy some more of this paper towel because I bought it at the grocery store the last time and one roll lasted the entire month. I feel like that never really happens. And so, because it's so big and it did last, I'm very excited. So now I feel like that's all I want to buy. Even though I like the little ones like this. Because I'm able to put them in this cute little thing like this way. And we are all about the aesthetics. So that's cute too. And then I have my candle going for, you know, the good vibes, the good energy. So that's what we have going on. The rest of these I will throw away. I don't know how it is that I always find all these things after I already took out the trash. That always happens to me. So the kitchen is nice and clean. Oh, this is pretty much ready, the bananas. I guess I should do that now. Bye. <laughs> Pour 
mixture here and there. And I normally have like a container that I can put all this in. It. This was the only one I could find. It looked like I ended up throwing all of them out. Which is very likely. Sometimes I just get tired of seeing the old stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, no, this needs to go. And then again, I wanted to have some really cute bowls for stuff like this. And the ones that I had were not cute. My guy, okay, I get it. Guys, this manager is so nutty. <laughs> Let me put this in. He's so nutty. Like, I texted him last night and I told him that I had the runs and I can't come to work early because I was scheduled to work at 9.30 this morning. Right now, it is 9.38. He texted me back at 9 p.m. last night and he was just like, yeah, um, let me put this in the oven. He was just like, yeah, um, can you today off, please? He was pretty much telling me to just take the day off if I'm not feeling good or whatever. I guess last night at 9 p.m. he tried to get somebody to just cover my entire shift because I told him that I would come in at 1. So I'm like, all right, it's clipped, like I'm just not gonna go. Especially because my, my roommate is supposed to move in today. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Nine o'clock, I'm seeing him. So I'm like, I'm not gonna answer because why are you calling me now you already told me not to come? Like, the moment you told me not to come, I already made, pl made plans for my day. So now I'm just letting him know, like maybe later on in the evening, like I'll see how I feel and like when my friend comes and like unpacks her stuff because the movers are just getting to her house. And so I'm gonna help her, like, we're gonna have to wait and see because now you're all over the place. Like what? And he always does this. Like you could have just told me last night. Okay, yeah, great. Come in and or like have somebody come in for a few hours in the morning. Like what? I keep forgetting the trash can was over here, not by my choice. It was over here first, and then it was moved to that spot, not by my choice. And it was so annoying to have to go over there all the time. And so. I put it back over here and I keep forgetting that it's over here. Anyways, now that I'm done that, I think I'm gonna clean up here a little bit. Maybe I will start cooking my chicken. And then I'm gonna wash this and figure out what I'm gonna make with this. So I will see you guys later.